After last week's successful launch of the first Starship, things are slowly returning to normal at Starbase. Yesterday, Starship S-27 was rolled out of the high bay and moved to the Rocket Garden. While this ship hasn't undergone cryogenic testing yet, it is worth noting that its predecessor, S-26, had already received its six Raptor engines before the test flight. However, we shouldn't expect engine installation on S-27 just yet. Once the launch pad is ready for testing, we can expect S-26 to undergo static fire test with Booster 9 and S-26 are rumored to be the next Starship combo in line for flight. Inside the high bay, we could also see the new Starship lifting rig in use to move S-28 toward the left of high bay. This new lifting rig uses the chopstick lift points instead of the old lifting pins on previous Starships. At the launch site, we are witnessing movements as the chopstick arms have descended from their launch position and the ship quick disconnect arm could also be seen in motion. These indications are encouraging regarding the health of the tower as it suggests that there was little damage incurred during the Starship launch. With the exception of the concrete issue beneath the launch mount, the entire system is well built and robust that can effectively support future Starship launches. It is anticipated that SpaceX will develop a solution to address the concrete issue in the coming months. Another important update is that the Federal Aviation Administration has taken the decision to ground SpaceX's Starship program while a mishap investigation is conducted. But this is a standard protocol for the agency to follow in the event of a launch failure. And due to the size of the rocket and the significant debris that was generated by the explosion, it is anticipated that this investigation may take longer than usual. The collection of debris and assessment of the local environment will be carried out in a timely and thorough manner. I am sure all parties involved, including NASA, SpaceX, and the FAA, will coordinate to produce a comprehensive report of their findings. However, it should be noted that any delay to the Starship program will inevitably impact NASA's return to the Moon mission, which is scheduled to occur within this decade. Well, that's enough Starship news for now. SpaceX delayed the launch of its 27th mission of the year, Starlink 3-5 mission which was scheduled to launch this morning from SLC-4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California has been delayed until tomorrow. In another significant development, the company has received approval to add a fifth launch site in the United States. According to a statement from the Space Force, a letter of support was signed on April 21st, granting SpaceX permission to lease Space Launch Complex 6 to support future Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launches. This achievement is expected to further increase SpaceX's launch cadence and expand its capabilities. The historic SLC-6 previously supported the Delta IV vehicle family and has remained vacant since the final Delta IV heavy launch on September 24, 2022. Before I end the video, let me give you a bonus news. Elon Musk says he will do a Spaces review of the Starship flight test on Twitter this Friday. We are about to find out more details about the test flight soon. Thank you for watching. I will be back with more updates in the next video.